Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel 3 Dash. Guys, in this video, I am going to explain you how we can model this uh, piece inside Autodesk Fusion 360. So this is the exercise number 8 uh, that I am completing in Fusion 360. So if you are just getting started into Fusion 360, I will strongly recommend you to go and check out my other tutorials as well. So this is the model that we are going to practice today and also uh, this is the practice file. This is the technical drawing that I had prepared for this model. So for, to refer all the details and dimension, you can download this file. Uh, available to get this file in the video description below. I will provide a link where from where you can download this file. So just go and check it out. And uh, I will also recommend you to side by side you, you start doing the things. So whatever we are modeling and making in this tutorial, uh, just follow along with me. And this way you will be able to learn better. So let's dive into Fusion 360 and start modeling. So now we are into Fusion 360. So the first thing that we will open the data panel and we will go on to the right project folder. So here you can see this is my YouTube project folder. I will just double click to open this folder and here I will save my file inside the exercise folder. So here you can see this is my exercise folder and I am going to save this file inside this folder. So I will just click on the save here and I will give it a name. I will give, I will give it a name exercise 08. and we'll click on the save here you can see the file got saved and and the file name also got updated so we'll move on to our next step we'll close the data panel and we'll start with creating a sketch first so before that we'll check the units so here you can see right now my units are millimeter and if i want to change i can click on here and i can change my units but for now it is okay so i will leave it is like that and here you can see at the bottom panel shows here that my design is stays turned on so we are ready to get started now so i will just go on to the create panel over here and click on this create a sketch tool and we'll select the plane so this is the plane where i want to create my sketch then i will go on to the create panel over here and we'll select the center rectangle tool and we'll select the origin and we'll drag it outside like this and we'll provide the dimensions so uh, for the dimensions you can just refer to the technical uh, drawing that i had uh, provided below in the video you can just download it so here you can see this is my rectangle then i will create a circle at the center so this is my circle and we'll specify the radius of the, of the circle diameter of the circle sorry and here you can see uh, we are done with this first sketch we'll click on the finish sketch and then we'll uh, orbit a little bit then we'll activate our extrude tool and we'll select the profile and we'll provide the extrude distance of 20 millimeter and we'll press ok to accept the results so here it is so here is my base that i had created now we'll move on to the next step we'll start with a sketch so i'm creating a sketch on the top of the profile so i will start with a rectangle i will create a rectangle of uh, 20 millimeter wide here you can see I, i'm using the corner as a snap point and here is my rectangle and uh, I will create one more rectangle on this corner so here you can see uh, I will also recommend you to go and check out the technical document for all the details and dimensions so now I will click on the finish the sketch and this is the profiles we got I will activate my extrude profile will select the profile and will extrude this by a distance of uh, 150 millimeters so here you can see and will press ok to accept the results and now again I have to turn on my sketch since uh, uh, it was not visible so again I will activate my extrude profile I will extrude it by by this distance and will press ok to accept the result so here you can see the sketch 3 is still not constrained sketch 1 and 2 are constrained but the sketch 3 is not constrained so I will just make edit this sketch and will make sure that everything is defined so here you can see this side is not defined so I will just apply I'm going to apply a co coincident constraint here so I will just select the point and the side to make it constrained with this particular line so here you can see now it is uh, completely defined so now I can just click on the finish sketch and I, now I will just turn off all the sketches to uh, so that my body is more visible now I will select this profile and on this profile I am going to create a sketch so I had selected the profile now I will create a rectangle like this uh, so here you can see I had created a rectangle like this on this particular face and I will define the distance of this particular face here you can see and uh, still this side is not defined so i will apply the coincident constraint between uh, these two rows this two point and the side and we'll click on the finish and then we'll activate my extrude tool and then we'll i will extrude this profile up to this face and we'll 
Make sure that the operation is joined and we'll press OK to accept the results. So here you can see this is what we got. Now we'll activate my fillet tool and we'll select the edges on which I want to apply my fillets. So these are all three edges that's onto which I want to apply fillet. So I will provide the fillet radius and we'll press OK to accept the results. So here you can see this is what we got. Now I will select this uh, face and we'll click on the create a sketch tool to create a sketch on this particular face. I will activate my circle tool and we'll create a circle. Uh, two circles here you can see i am getting the snap point as a center point and uh, on onto that i had created two circles then i had applied uh, equal constraint on both the circles and then we'll define the diameter of the circle here you can see now what i can do i can just uh, i can just click on the finish the sketch and uh, here we got we'll activate the extrude tool we'll select the profiles and we'll make an extrude cut like this here you can see and we'll press ok to accept the results so this is what we got till now so now we're going to select this face and we'll click on the create a sketch and then we'll click on the slice here here you can see now i will able to see the sliced area so the things are more visible to us now i will activate the line tool and we'll select the corner and we'll create a line like this here you can see now i will create another line i will select this corner this time and we'll create a line like this now we'll activate the circle tool and we'll create a circle between the lines here you can see and now i will just activate my uh, tangent tool and we'll make sure that the lines are tangent to the circle and also we'll make sure that this line must be touching to the circle so here you can see uh, since i'm not sure whether the line is touching so we'll use the extend tool from here and we'll extend the lines up to the circle here you can see i will just adjust a little bit and we'll extend the line up to the circle and here you can see now i will just drag the circle a little bit and then i will define this dimension so this one i want to keep just 15 millimeter and uh, the things are now looking messy so we'll adjust the things a little bit by dragging here you can see and now we'll activate the dimension tool again and we'll define this vertical dimension so this one i just want to keep 150 millimeters and here, here we got the results and now what I will do, I will uh, define the diameter of this circle. So this one is 16 millimeter and then we'll create one more circle at the center and we'll define this circle. So this one is just 30 millimeter in diameter and we'll click on the finish the sketch. So here you can see this is the sketch we got and now we'll activate my extrude tool. We'll select the profiles and we'll extrude up to 20 millimeter. Here you can see. So this is the shape we got. Now we'll select this face and we'll activate the sketch tool on this face and we'll create a rectangle like this of 20 millimeter wide here you can see this is 20 millimeter so i will just give 20 here and then i will make sure that this line must be touching to the edge so we'll apply the coincident constraint between the line and the point and i will click on the finish sketch and then i will activate my extrude tool we'll select the profile and we'll extrude this particular by this much of distance so all the distance you can just refer to our technical drawings so now i will select this face and we'll click on the create a sketch tool and then we'll create uh, one more rectangle over here uh, because we want to extend this area so here you can see and we'll define this rectangle dimensions uh, i will just give you the dimension of 60 millimeter and we'll play, press finish sketch here you can see now i will extrude this uh, feature by by particular distance so here you can see that this is the result we got now we'll activate the fillet tool we'll select all the four edges corners and we'll apply a fillet radius here here you can see i'm going to apply a fillet radius of 30 millimeter and we'll press ok to accept the results so this is what we got now uh, i just have to create uh, two circles on the face of this top here you can see and we'll create two circles uh, i will just hover over to get the center point and i will create two circles just on the center points here you can see and i will def I make sure that both the circles are equal so i will apply the equal constraint then we'll define the diameter of one, one of the circle and here you can see we'll click on the finish the sketch then we'll activate our extrude tool and we'll extrude these two profiles towards bottom to make a cut and we'll press ok to accept the result here you can see so this is the profile that we had created so this is the final profile that we wanted to make and if you have any questions or doubt about the process you can just comment below in the video and if you are new to this video just subscribe to our channel and press the like button to our channel because if you like this video that will be uh, a support from your side so thank you guys thank you so much for watching